Hello, and welcome to Tapper Machine. I'm Josh Tapper. Today we're working on a rather special project, um, and I've been working with, with these, these guys for quite some time. Um, I do some contract work over there, um, track inspection, things like that, at the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad in Trigo. And uh, what uh, we're doing right now is restoring the Mark Twain Zephyr. Now, uh, this is a rather unique piece of equipment. There was like nine of them built for the Burlington in the 30s. Um, this is going to be the only one in the entire country that runs of the very few that survive. One of them is at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. Um, very, very unique piece of equipment. Um, and uh, I'll share a link with that in the description below if I can, um, if I can figure it out. I'm still learning all this YouTube stuff. Uh, so today what we're doing is, is I've got this, this plastic material and we're building the electrical bus bars that go on the end of the car to terminate the 480 for the HEP. Uh, HEP stands for head end power. Um, so these will have three lugs in them and then that's where each leg of the three phase bolts on and then we can take off of them, tap off of them to our transformers on each car to uh, transform down to the usable electricity. So, with this plastic, um, I spent quite a little time yesterday um, trying to get my van saw cleaned up and ready to go. Um, you don't want any contamination of the metal, any metal that's on the saw, in your plastic. You don't want any, any place where you could possibly have issues of uh, conductivity. So I spent a long time cleaning my Johnson yesterday. And I scrubbed on it and scraped on it, and I really cleaned my Johnson good. Um, nobody likes a dirty Johnson. It's just not a good thing. So I think I'd probably beat this joke enough. My wife would tell me I'm not funny. So let's set up and let's get, get sawing. deburr these so we can hold them in our vise good and we use our handy dandy little deburring tool and you just hook the edge and clean it right up. Next will be drilling for the three bolts and countersinking for their heads on the back side. And then we're going to make a plate of another piece of plastic, um, a different material that we have left over to go on the back side of the backer and then a way to attach it on the car body. Their first hole. A whole bunch more to go.
So the next step here is to counter bore these holes because um, what we're doing is we're using basically a carriage bolt and I've got them ordered. I don't have them here yet. They'll be here today but uh, they'll have the square shank on there to lock into the plastic and the head. So we need a counter bore for that head and I know the head is 208, 208 thousandths high from base of the head to the tip and 844, 0 .844 diameter. Well, I've got already set up a one inch end mill. So we're going to set that up and go in a quarter inch and that'll be our, our counter bore. So let's get started. So we've just cut these backer pieces out of our 3 8 Lexan. This is left over from the windows of the, of the Mark Twain Zephyr. So we're using this as the backer piece and the mounting plate basically to the car body. Um, this will give us our um, electrical barrier to the stainless steel. So we'll drill the holes for the mounting brackets and then uh, we'll drill the mounting holes to screw the this to our, our uh, actual um, bus bar. Okay, so UPS just got here with all my stainless steel hardware. Um, these are our screws that we're going to attach the two pieces together and I've already drilled eight holes for attaching it. So we need to countersink it like I did this one. And so it'll be countersunk in there. I don't know how well you can see any of that. But we will uh, go over to the, to the little drill press and countersink these. Here it is. The first of the 11 I'm going to do. Um, three phase terminal bus boards. Fully insulated for the Mark Twain Zephyr. So these get mounted on the outside of the car and the HEP power gets terminated on each one and leads come off for the transformers plus the jumper lead car to car. So pretty simple basic um, and it'll work just fine. So um, you can uh, I'm going to try to post a link of the Mark Twain Zephyr for it on my uh, in the description below and uh, make sure you like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. Uh, you can go to our website www.toppermachine.com um, and uh, I guess I'm going to have to get over there and clean my Johnson again. Alright, don't tell my wife I said that one. She's going to beat me when she sees this video. Anyway, um, so until next time, 
Let's get out in the shop and let's get it done right the first time.